Hey, what's up, Snell? Welcome to a new episode of Final Final And today we're going to be blasting Finland's Ghastly Death Valor on 20 bucks spin records. This is one of those Finnish death metal records that you probably should be paying attention to. It dropped last year on 20 bucks spin and I really haven't heard much about Ghastly since they were announced to play Kill Town Death Fest this year. Which is fucking sick because both of their releases are absolutely amazing. But I really feel like their sophomore record here is just wow. So fucking good. And it's just one of those weird Finnish death metal records that for some reason, I have no idea why, but like, I feel like there was a little bit of hype build up around this release and then it just kind of died out after more gnarly releases came out on 20 bucks spin and I could kind of see the same thing happening this year with the amount of just madness straight up madness coming out of 20 bucks spin recently it's just been back to back to back to back banger after banger after banger it's sick and just like last year, this is one of the first releases 20 Bucks Spin did, and one of the best. Ghastly, Death Valor, killer, obscure, weird, Finnish death metal. And this next release is finally available on vinyl. And this is a release through Dead Sea Productions and Sentient Ruin Laboratories. And... Here's a little download code. And I'm talking about Negativa 3. Let's read the hype sticker real quick. Finally on vinyl, the 2018 newest LP from Spanish Miserist Negativa. Nearly 40 minutes of lightless and hopeless, depressive, atmospheric black metal. Claustrophobia for fans of MGMLA, etc, etc. I would say more or less for fans of Leviathan, Nort, etc. But with a massive, massive difference here, as this is some vicious, depressive, yet raw, stripped down amazing grim as fuck sounding black metal with some grade A production oddly for what's considered to be a raw black metal record and yeah it's raw but it's raw in a completely different way than production as this is one of those black metal records that the bass is loud as fuck in the mix and sounds absolutely amazing. Negativa just absolutely killed it here with three. The bass is high in the mix and it's very expressive yet completely void of the traditions of depressive black metal as most human elements are completely ignored here and it's fucking sick in that aspect of ignoring the elements of human emotion to depressive black metal it's definitely outside of the box of the normal self-imposed woe is me look at black metal that a lot of depressive, you know, DSBM bands do. This is the complete opposite, in my opinion. It's loud, it's fucking in your face, it's just totally nihilistic as fuck, but without even having any traces of humanity to it. It's so void 
of humanity and just that hatred of mankind, it, it's fucking just something you need to sit down and blast. And it's fucking great. You have DB on all instruments and HV on lyrics and vocals. These two maniacs absolutely knew exactly what they were aiming for, and they just killed it. Seriously, killed it. Like, one of the reasons I didn't finish the hype sticker, it's because I don't really agree with what some of the bands it compares this to sound like. This is its own fucking monster right here. It's one of the few black metal records that I honestly was just like kind of speechless about. I didn't really know what to say about this. I've been meaning to review it, but it's just like, holy fucking shit. I don't know where to start. Every single thing about this record is just top fucking shelf black metal. And I really, really love just how grim the production is, yet it sounds amazing. Nothing's too low in the mix, the vocals are loud as fuck. And like, it really ignores pretty much the self-imposed rules of what raw, depressive black metal is meant to sound like. As the production, A+. Plus. But like in its own way, as I have no idea how they recorded this bad boy, but however they did it, it was recorded, mixed, and mastered by Negativa, or Negativa, between 2017 and 2018, when this was originally released on cassette, and finally available on vinyl, and as always, when it comes to Sentient Ruin, Come to expect top shelf cosmetics, heavy duty vinyl, and 33 RPMs of just depressive yet heavy as fuck black metal. Like seriously, this, this is fucking uh, so loud and just amazing. Like, I, I can't get over how fucking good this is. It's one of those full lengths, or whatever you want to call it, 40 minutes of just absolutely humanity-hating black metal. Number three from Negativa is an absolute fucking grand slam of black metal here. Like... Considering that, you know, this is considered raw, dissonant black metal, there's the dissonance, which is very obvious, as, like I said, I hear a lot more Leviathan than I hear some of the other bands that are mentioned on the hype sticker, but one that does stand out is, uh, Walknut. And Walknut's fucking sick, and you will hear a little bit of them in this mix, along with some other bands, but mostly for me, I was hearing a lot of Leviathan-inspired music. But just on how heavy this is, it reminded me of how heavy Scarsight it is by Leviathan when it comes to a heavy, well-produced black metal record. As, in case you were not aware, on Scar Sighted, Jeff Whitehead got fucking Billy Anderson of sleep fame, neurosis fame, to come in and, you know, help out with Scar Sighted. And if you've ever played Scar Sighted, then you know that that's one of the best sounding black metal records ever recorded. And I'll stand by that fucking statement. That's one of... My top three favorite Billy Anderson productions as well. And that's saying a lot. But right here is some of the best Spanish black metal in the game. 
and some of the best black metal period in the game. I really love how just glossy and nice this LP cover is. Great simplistic artwork, right to the fucking point. And that's what Negativa do so well, is not beat around the bush when it comes to their atmospheric side. Everything is just perfectly leveled out where it needs to be, especially the bass and vocals, which are some of the instruments when it comes to a normal, depressively raw black metal release. Those are the two things that are mostly the lowest in the mix, alongside the drumming, as the riffs are the most important thing when it comes to black metal. Negativa absolutely understand that concept as the guitar work on here again. Fucking bravo! This is so fucking good and if you're a fan of black metal it doesn't matter if it's depressive black metal fucking Belgian black metal Finnish black metal chances are if you're a fan of black metal check out Spain's Negativa 3 on Sentient Ruin Laboratories and Dead Sea Productions and chances are 665% that you are going to devour every single track on here. Because I know I did. This is one of those records that instantly grabbed my fucking attention. And the fact that it's devoid of most human elements that make depressive black metal lyrically um, relatable... The fact that that's thrown out the fucking window opens up a world of possibilities when it comes to 3 by Negativa. It's just one of those black metal releases that you need to hear it to believe it. And I just can't get over how fucking good this sounds on vinyl. <laughs> So, if you get a chance to snag this, snag it on wax and fucking enjoy 3 by Negativa, fuck yeah, on Sentient Ruin Laboratories and Dead Sea Productions. So fucking good. Download code. And thank you, John Randall, again, for making this possible, and Sentient Ruin Laboratories for deciding to release this fucking bad boy on vinyl. Same with uh, Dead Sea Productions. This is so fucking good and so deserving of 12 inches of wax. Just... An amazing, amazing slab of depressive, raw, yet absolutely amazingly produced Spanish black metal. Negativa 3. So fucking good. Like, I can't get over how good this record is. And I want to leave it up to you maniacs to check it out for yourselves. As I personally, it's like, wow. But we were blasting Finland's ghastly Death Valor on 20 Bucks Spin Records. Such a killer release from last year. I would snag one if 20 Bucks Spin has a copy. I know they still have every variant of the Cerebral Rot full length that's coming out, so I would snag that as well. But as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Thanks again, John Randall, for making this video possible. And thank you, Dennis Jamirez, for snagging the rotted LP, finally. Yes, so stoked for that to arrive. And the Crawl Leviathan split. Oh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Hoosh. <laughs>